We have been getting a lot of questions about the final attempt and one of the biggest questions has been around Kate and her injury and what it was like to be in the gym. And so for co some context, I train at Power and Grace pretty regularly. And so I am with Kate and around Kate a lot. Same with Jordan De La Cruz. So this day was like a normal training day. I came in, I, I normally bring my camera just because you never know what's gonna happen. And I found out that Kate was gonna be going pretty heavy. So I decided this would be a great opportunity to pull my camera out, see what happens, maybe see some PRs. And so Kate was, you know, working through her weights and just stomping every weight, you know, clean jerk, add weight, clean jerk, add weight. So I thought it was gonna be a pretty good day. I was pretty excited. And so she gets up to her top set, the one that you see in the documentary, and everyone's really pumped up, really, you know, jazzed about it. This is gonna be a, a huge lift and we're, what, a couple weeks out from Pan Ams. And so I remember seeing Kate stand up the clean. It looks kind of funny, it looks hard, but of course you're thinking it's gonna be hard. It's a PR attempt. And she gets to the top in the front rack, sits there for a second and then drops the bar. And at that moment, I don't think anyone thought, or at least I didn't think that she was injured. I, I thought maybe she was starting to black out or seeing stars or something and just thought I'm gonna drop the bar before I completely black out, right? Smart move, don't do that. Uh, and then things kind of start unfolding when you, you see Kate's face and you realize, oh, it was more than just a missed lift. And you see her gesturing to her knee and, and trying to stretch her knee out and then Spencer coming over and, and talking to her. Uh, that's when it kind of settled in for me that, oh, this might be, this might be a big deal. Like what, what's going on here? And, and so in that moment, I didn't know what the injury was. And, and later, right, we find out that it is a meniscus tear, but as a documentary maker, but also as her friend and teammate, I felt very torn because on one hand, I'm, a, I'm supposed to be making this documentary. I have a camera in my hand. I need to be filming these things because this is raw and real stuff that's going on. Kate and Spencer were so gracious in allowing me to be there in that space, to be physically close to them and to be emotionally close to them as well and ask questions about what do you think just happened? Are you okay? What's going on? And so it was, for me, it was again, this internal struggle of also being really excited, like she's gonna crush this weight, it's gonna be awesome, I'm rooting for her as a teammate and also as a filmmaker. And then I see her get injured and I'm sad for her and and don't know what's going on, but thinking I still have a job here, I have to I have to film this, I think. And so that was, that was really a difficult situation for me. And um, yeah, again, and, and again, that's, that's documentary making that I come into the gym, I don't know these things are gonna happen. I, whenever I pull a camera out, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what people are gonna do. I don't really know what people are gonna say. That's what I'm also excited about in this story and in this documentary is that people might know Kate Vibert as the girl who lifts weights, the girl who got second at the Olympics. She's an Olympian, a silver medalist, whatever, right? But we're hoping that in this as we tell this story and as we follow these four ladies from now through the Paris 2024 Olympics, that people get to see the human side of these athletes, that they get injured, that they, they struggle, they, they're not just machines that lift weight over their head and go home and plug into a wall and they are just robots, right? And, and I think a moment like this showed that it, it showed a very real raw side of this is what their weight, weightlifters are doing these are what these athletes are doing they're pushing themselves to the limits and sometimes you break <laughs>